I made a reflective photography octagonal turntable on a budget by using a square glass plate sitting on top of a cake decoration lazy susan. I had the glass plate cut into an octagon. The background of the turntable was changed by placing black or silver or gold sheets underneath the octagonal glass sheet. This video shows how to calculate the dimensions of the octagon based upon the square glass and shows you samples of the videos I made. Okay, the first shop I went to is in SS3 Pateling Jaya and they told me that uh, the cheapest they can do is a square piece of glass. If I wanted a round circular piece of glass, then it will cost them 10 times as much. So I said, what's wrong with these people? Huh? I got a, a square piece of glass and uh, it cost me 30 ringgit, which is about uh, less than six US dollars, about five US dollars. After that, I said, okay, I used, uh, used the square glass on my turntable and I found that the square corners were 19 inches apart because it was a 14 by 14 inch square glass and uh, it would knock the stand wherever when it turned it knocked the stand so I couldn't get too close close enough to the object right so I said okay what's the next box option uh, let me make it into an octagon and I wrote, uh, wrote out some equations and explained at what point in the square do we cut see the octagon is like that the square is like that right so at which point here do we cut to make a straight line here now the ss3 glass shop said he couldn't uh, cut it he said that he couldn't cut it into an octagon because it would break and which i found out later was utter nonsense he was trying to force me to make pay for a circular glass so then I found another glass maker in SS3 and uh, I said, okay, how much can you cut into octagon? And he said, yeah, yeah, no problem. He can do it. And uh, so I gave, gave him uh, the order and I gave him the square glass I had and asked him to cut it, right? So that part, he did quite a good job. I gave him the calculation. I the formula sheet so if he wants to give it to other people he can use it and the guy was so ungrateful he scratched the glass and made a mess of everything but he hid it up wrapped it up nicely so that I wouldn't notice I didn't I in the end I said I am not going to uh, complain to him about this I'm gonna put a YouTube video so that everyone knows that in SS3 Pateling Jaya very bad people, don't go there, they will cheat you. So now, I, let me show you what happened, how the glasses. After that, I will show you the calculation, how to do the calculation. And then I will show you the sample, beautiful sample videos I've got about with this. And you can actually do wonderful things when you're doing uh, product photography or rotating turntable photography or 360 degree product photography or whatever you want to call it, right? Fantastic. Just fantastic. Fantastic. So let's now go to the next section of this uh, video. See how many scratches there are? Look at that one. There's one more here. There's one here. There's one. There's some more over here. Look at that. They gave me a, a damaged piece of glass. They really didn't care what they were doing. They want to make sure that what I was doing would fail. You see? And look at that. Such a long scratch. And then some more here. See? See? See, 
Be careful of these people. They are very dangerous. Don't come near any of them. See? And then, the glass that was not damaged is damaged. Can you see? Sorry. Can you see that it's damaged? This this glass was a perfect glass, right? And he made sure he damaged it. They are wicked people. Really wicked. Now let me show you how I did the calculation so that you can do uh, make your own octagonal uh, glass sheet from square sheets uh, for whatever dimension, maybe 14 inches, maybe 20 inches, maybe 3 feet, 10 feet for construction in uh, a building campsite or whatever it is or even just a simple glass, maybe even 5 inches. This is a square piece of glass in my case it was 14 inches s is 14 inches and b is the sides of the octagon and uh, a is from what distance from the corner do you start to cut to make an octagon here the length a is the distance from the corner to the point where you have to cut to make an octagon is a equals to S, the length of the sides of the square, divided by 3.4142. That was the most important formula to cut a glass uh, octagon. But if you wanted to find out other information like the distance between the two corners of the pen octagon, uh, it will be B times 2.6131. Now the area of the octagon will be 2 times B, the side of the octagon, times S, the length of the square. Uh, this information will be important especially if you are doing construction work. The perimeter of the octagon will be 8 times the length of one side of the octagon. All the formulas are listed out here so that uh, it will be useful to you if you are in the construction or manufacturing industry where you have to manufacture, let's say, wooden uh, octagons. Now, let me show you some of the examples, uh, videos that I've made. Uh, it's very interesting. You can do so many wonderful things like shining lights at an angle and making shadows and reflections is wonderful really wonderful so instead of a round piece of glass i've got an octagon this distance is 14 inches and the distance between the corners opposite corners of the octagon is 15 inches it's much cheaper than a circular piece of glass and the best part of it is that i can change the background Here I have a black background and it is reflective. With the reflective background, I can get a reflection of any object on the glass plate. This is a cake board, a cake tray, where you put your cake on top and deliver to your clients. I'm using this too as a base on which I put the glass so that I have a gold color reflective background. Now I have a gold colored background. Now I can put an object on top and rotate the turntable. I could even use a crumpled aluminum foil to give it a silver background and put it under the glass sheet and use that as a highly reflective a base. It is really fantastic, isn't it? Once you have all these options to try out 
and make wonderful videos. Here I was making a video of the Intel CPU with the spotlight at the back. Actually the spotlight is directly opposite me so the reflection is a round white circle. It allows me to get a vignette type of uh, video. Here I used a dark colored cloth and you can see uh, the reflection also of the CPU. Can you see the reflection on the base glass plate? It really looks good, doesn't it? So it is really amazing, isn't it? How you can make a product photography at home using a Lazy Susan as a rotating turn turntable. And I used an octagonal uh, glass plate to give me the reflection and allow me to come up close up to the object that I'm making a video of. So 360 degree photography is straightforward. At home, you can do it with simple equipment. So let me know if you have better ideas or you can improve on this. And um, I think the next time around, I'm going to motorize it and try to uh, make it run automatically without using my hand so I can get consistent speed of revolution.